Welcome parents! This slide will help you understand Footprints International School Early Childhood Program and the curriculum which it is based on. Early childhood is not just a time to prepare for school. It is not just a time of waving or getting ready. Early childhood is a time never to be reclaimed, when children are free to explore, to discover their world through new eyes and to form opinions about themselves and the world around them. It is a time of intense learning and growth, a time of wonder and a time of curiosity, a time of testing, trying and exploring. To foster wonder and arouse curiosity, teachers are encouraged to actively plan around these attributes for meaningful learning. The curriculum is written to acknowledge that children do not only learn the prescribed goals, but take the sum total of their experiences, whether direct or indirect planned or spontaneous and incorporate them into their learning. It recognizes that children learn from the environment, from the classroom and from each other, through responsive and reciprocal relationships. It recognizes that learning takes place within an environment supported and extended by teachers, peers and family members as well. Teaching and learning should be fun and active, be purposeful, be achievable but challenging, build on prior learning, make connections across different aspects of their learning and life, address different learning styles, cater to multiple intelligences, allow time for reflection and consolidation, happen most effectively in an environment in which children feel safe comfortable and able to take the risk involved in learning new things. Teaching and learning should develop their capacity to learn and work independently and collaboratively, provide opportunities to think creatively and critically, to solve problems and to reflect on learning, promote opportunity, quality, continuity and cohesion across the whole school promote the academic, social and emotional well-being of children. Helping children learn should be at the core of everything the curriculum does. Good teaching that delivers and facilitates opportunities for effective learning is the most essential ingredient of all. FIS ECP enrolls pupils from 18 months up to 6 years old. Nursery pupils are from 18 months to 3 years old. Pre-K-1 pupils are from 3 to 4 years old and Pre-K-2 pupils are from 4 to 5 years old. Kindergarten pupils are 5 to 6 years old. FIS offers part-time morning only and or full-time. Part-time pupils study from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. while full-time pupils study from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. with two hours and a half break for lunch and nap time. Each lesson has a corresponding time slot per week. Time schedules are synchronized in all FIS ECP campuses. ECP timetable is child-friendly. Timetables are displayed in the class display boards for pupils' awareness. We put pictures after each text for pupils to recognize what would be the next activity. After knowing all the above information, let us have a tour of our ECP curriculum. Circle time. It is expected during circle time that the teachers will greet the pupils, review the weather and calendar and sing songs. Teachers are encouraged to review material. Teachers are encouraged to get their pupils moving with some physical exercise, stretching, yoga or dancing. This is also the best time for motivation and introduction of a new topic or lesson. Story time is more than reading to our pupils. It is expected that teachers would choose books which relate to the unit of study. Teachers can then use the story and characters for writing prompts, phonic lessons, role-playing activities or as subject matter for arts and crafts. Pupils should be able to answer questions about the text. Teachers are encouraged to exaggerate and do actions while reading stories. Pupils in nursery to pre-K to learn shapes, numbers, patterns and many other math concepts. 
There are classifying objects, counting and writing numbers as well. Pre-K2 is using the Early Bird Math Textbook A, a book adopted from Singapore, while Pre-K1 and Nursery are using compiled worksheets in math designed by the school itself. Besides these, teachers also use many hands-on activities to teach these ideas in an age-appropriate manner. Teachers also focus on writing numbers 0 to 9 correctly, as this forms the basis of all English numbers. Calendar time and other practical activities are used to encourage confidence with math. Kindergarten progresses to the next early work math book textbook B. Concepts are taught with follow-up hands-on activities for children to demonstrate understanding and develop thinking skills in an engaging and fun way. Children count, represent and write numbers 1 to 100 and later on move up to counting by groups of half, tenths and skip counting by tens, fives and twos. The concept of addition and subtraction are followed up by hand-on activities and written exercises. Solving problems are presented through stories and finding solutions comes in various methods. Making math real Preschoolers learn math by exploring the world through hand-on activities, integrate math into fun activities, encourage mental math, make math a fun competition, math games, giving rewards, and reading books with mathematical themes. FIS ECP provides manipulative activities in teaching mathematics. Teachers create teachers' creativity and artistry are shown through the following. A recycled plastic cup for measuring water. Children love to play with water. A recycled styrofoam cup for pinning or straws and chopsticks for counting and play money to teach marketing. Board number games, numbered paper cups for bowling and beads for root road counting. Our preschoolers also study geometry. They form angles and different shapes through different toys and objects. These are only a few examples of what we are doing in ECP. Math number hopping, road counting, bowling, painting, collage, fishing numbers and colors. Our preschoolers also study measurements. The children weigh weights and objects, learning heights by building towers and more. Language arts in early childhood is focused on developing pre-reading and pre-writing skills. Teachers use storybooks, draw pictures and tell stories to develop children's ideas in writing and reading. Alphabet skills are taught using the Zoophonics curriculum and are integrated with Reading A to Z, a scientifically based curriculum created as a way to teach children the sounds letters and early use of the English alphabet. Teachers also teach correct letter formation as pupils learn to write and recognize each, le each letter of the alphabet. This is a very hands-on approach to language arts. Pupils are provided with workbooks compiled by the school and writing books to draw stories and pictures as well as whiteboard and projectors for classroom activities. Teachers also use worksheets and other credible copied materials as necessary. Nursery to mid pre-K2 uses the Zoophonics curriculum. It is a multi-sensory language arts program which is kinesthetic, multi-model approach to learning all aspects of language arts including vocabulary development and articulation based on phonics and phonemic awareness. Mid of Pre-K 2 to Kindergarten uses Reading A to Z. Reading A to Z is an online curriculum. The website has more than 2,500 downloadable books, including English, Spanish and French versions, and thousands of teaching and learning materials. Nursery pupils make use of the Zoophonics flashcards that only show the animal friends. The animal shape and the alphabet sound is the focus in nursery. Pre-K-1 uses the Zoophonics flashcards that show the animal character with a bold black small letter that shapes the character. 
In Pre-K-1, the focus is on the letter name, letter sound and the character name. The bold letters also motivate the pupils to be ready in pre-writing. Pre-K-2 uses only the bold text, leaving aside the animal character friend. In Pre-K-2, it is expected that children can recognize alphabet letters and sounds without the animal friend prompts from the zoophonics lesson. In this level, reading A to Z is introduced. Kindergarten uses the online curriculum of reading A to Z. FIS purchased an online curriculum that is complete and was tested to be effective for language arts class in kindergarten. The program prepares the kindergarten pupils to enroll for grade one. Kindergarten uses decodable books and high frequency words to enhance their phonics and reading skills. ECP writing is a complex and formative skill that combines many different elements. There is no easy answer for teachers delivering instruction in writing in the classroom. Helping children become good writers is a time-consuming process, encompassing a cycle of planning, preparing, delivering and assessing. Helping children develop the necessary vocabulary, grammar and conventions at word, sentence and text level Teachers at Footprints try to embody the writing process. These are samples of how our ECP teachers elaborate language arts lessons. All flashcards are displayed in the class. We believe that visuals have a strong impact to children's learning. In our ECP unit of studies, learning goals are set to teach students about the world around them and to encourage them to learn, think and ask questions. Students study one topic for four or five weeks and cover things such as community helpers, animals, materials, transport and weather. Teachers use different activities to teach these themes relating these topics to support math and language arts. For kindergarten, teachers are guided by key concepts and key words for each monthly theme. Interesting topics about school, outer space, cultural activities, living things, the body and emotions are presented in various ways, like videos, stories, music, crafts and role plays. Monthly unit of study is broken down into specific topic per week. Unit of study can be at the playground, field trips or school kitchen. We don't limit the space where children can do and learn much through explorations. Unit of study uses all these multiple intelligences. FIS ECP aligns its learning outcomes from the school-wide learning goals. Learning goals were adopted from the school-wide vision. Had teachers ensure that the pupil's lesson can be incorporated in our school-wide learning goals. In all FIS preschool campuses, SLO banners are on display to motivate pupils to act accordingly. FIS also supports children with learning difficulty. We believe that education is for all. We also encourage parents to participate and make a big role in their child's education by asking them to read along with their child every single book that the school sends for the at-home reading program. This is another program that the ECP has adopted. Teachers send home a reading book from Reading A to Z or a book borrowed from the library together with a reading log to each student. Parents should read the book with their child and have to write remarks in the writing log to be followed up by that child's head teacher. FIS ECP reaches out to the commu community through literacy, entertainment, donations and trainings. Assessment in early childhood should be relevant to the pupils being assessed and observed. It should focus on their individual growth and achievements, not on the goals of the teacher. It should allow for different rates of growth and different areas of strength without judging children as smart or intelligent or clever or conversely failing or underachieving or slow developing. Assessment and reporting needs space to be individualized for each child. It should reflect a child's learning journey throughout nursery to kindergarten, reflecting their internal development, for example, their physical and emotional development, which is guided by their DNA, 
and their external development, for example goals, set by the teacher or by the pupils, such as learning to write their name or learning to count. Assessment is used at Footprint as a way to track pupils' progress and to ensure that each child is making the appropriate progress for their grade and ability. The main objective of assessment at Footprints is to provide feedback on the learning process. These are just two samples of our ECP assessment, one of the pre-K students to test on the alphabet comprehension and the other is pictographs to assess for alphabet sounds. We keep records for individual students for easy monitoring of individual progress as they move to a higher level. It is also a record of information for the next teachers. Report cards represent the progress of each ECP pupil. Each level has different learning competencies and learning goals, which are represented in each report card. ECP report card rubrics are represented by stars and smiley faces. Portfolios are given out once per term during parents-teacher conferences. Two pieces of the pupils' portfolios will also be kept in the office to serve as a reference for the next pupils' teacher. The integrated portfolio is a collection of the pupils' initial, initial writing or scribbling work from the first day of school and the last writing work before the end of the school year. These two sheets of paper are kept in file for the next teacher's assessment on the pupils' progress. Newsletter an ECP class brings home a newsletter every end of the month. The class newsletter should be informative. It tells about the past lessons, what is expected for the following month and other special reminders. Photos and captions are added for additional information. In the ECP, head teachers are required to plan lessons in advance. For one month planning, this is what we call the scope and sequence. The SS covers the month theme, goals, chapters or unit of study throughout the month. Besides the SS, head teachers are also asked to prepare a weekly lesson plan. The weekly lesson plan covers the details of the lesson each day. ECP lesson plans are very creative and artistic. Many are represented by visuals, just in case the head teacher is absent, the teacher who covers the class will have an easy understanding on how to run the class. Here is a video clip of ECP class activities. Along the way 